I can't do this. Are you seriously about to leave right now? I don't want this lifestyle anymore. You're Omar, right? Yeah. There's gonna be another housemate moving in. What? Welcome to your new home. It's a dump! And what, Tom's just gonna sleep on the sofa? I'm officially single and ready to mingle. <laughs> I thought this was a fully furnished let. It was also advertised as a two-person let. I've got nowhere else to go. Well, let's just hope the landlord doesn't find out. What's that noise? What noise? Hello? Oh my, do something! Calm down! This is Seb. Who? Tom, Kenny, meet your new flatmate. How the hell did you get in? Through the window. So you broke in? Kenny, stop jumping to conclusions! You didn't break in, did you? Right, the window was open, so technically, I didn't break in. How'd you work that one out? Well, me and my mates got kicked out of the squat last week. You know, this place was empty, so I moved in. Big deal. Omar, a squatter? Actually, you know, we're more like occupiers, you know, like, like the movement. Anyway, they shut off the water and, you know, it's not much fun using a carrier bag as a toilet. That's disgusting and illegal. We should call the police. Why? Seb's one of those revolutionary times. I am not living with a convict. I'm calling them now. Hmm, you know, I bet the police would love to hear all about the illegal subletting. Whoa, 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 wait. Perhaps we can figure something out. Exactly. Look, I know it's going to be a bit of a squeeze, but we can make it work. Please. Oh. My. God. The ceiling's leaking. Ugh, that's it. I'm putting in a formal complaint. I'm getting a refund. Yeah, it's been like that for about five days now. You know, I'm sick of these shady landlords just renting out these rat holes just because they know the council lets them get away with it. Yeah, fight the power. But let's not stir things up and end up homeless on the street. We did just get here. Okay, so how are we gonna get rid of that Jeremy Corbyn wannabe? Oh, come on, Kemi, give him a chance. It's him or me, Omar. I'm serious. Um, what's that smell? I got takeaway from Lagos Palace across the street. It's my treat. <laughs> what do you know about Nigerian food? It's important to support local businesses. Uh, since when is West African cuisine a thing? I got us some plantain jollof rice, some powdered yam, some fried fish, and some moimo. Moi moi, oh. Mummy makes it for me all the time. <laughs> oh, and uh, some puff puffs. Rah, you're going in. I'll get the Chardonnay. <laughs> Where did that come from? Well, I thought we should stock up on the essentials. Watching my figure. <laughs> oh shit. What's wrong? I know this is really bad timing, but I gotta go to a sensual touch workshop. <laughs> now? I've already paid. So you're leaving us for a hookup? <laughs> it's not like that. We're going to be exploring the hidden energy fields flowing through the body via physical intimacy. So not escorting that. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, please. Uh, Omar? You aren't seriously going to leave me here with these two? I'll only be gone a few hours. And besides, it'll give you a chance to get to know your flatmates a little better. Me and you need to have a serious chat when you get back. This whole setup, mm -mm, it's not going to work. Gotta go. Omar! I mean it! So, what's today's earth-shattering issue? I am leading an anti-gentrification protest on Saturday. Fancy coming along? 
not really my scene. I've seen the flyers around the flat with you on it. Who nominated you to be the face of the movement? Have you not seen what they're doing to this area? Black and brown communities being priced out, shipped off to places like Luton. You've been living in Peckham for all of five minutes. What do you know about gentrification? Where's Omar when you need him? Hello, welcome. You can get undressed over there. Do you have something stronger? Tequila, maybe? Uh, I think there's some in the fridge. <gasps> Let's do shots. You know, this might come as a surprise to you, but the deprived communities you profess to be helping is not some charity case for you to use as a leg up in your own self-centred agenda. How dare you question my motives? I have given everything for this cause. Don't kid yourself. I'm so over guys like you with your white saviour complex thinking you can just show up and take over our spaces without doing the real work. Tequila, 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 Oh, come on! Drink more! Talk less! Your fake wokeness isn't fooling anyone. You've got a long way to go before you can call yourself an ally. Can we please save this debate for another time? I've got a really heavy head. Okay. So what, I guess you're gonna hit me of that whole white privilege thing then. Oh. Wow. I don't have the patience for this. It's getting late. I'm gonna unpack. Oh. Looks like she's setting in nicely. In other news, I've just landed myself a date with a super hot guy called Enrique. And according to Swallow, he's only 400 feet away. Okay, everyone. So in this evening's workshop, we're exploring the sensual pleasure of physical touch. As we do this, I invite you to be fully present to your thoughts and feelings, um, particularly the ones that might be more unpleasant. We spoke earlier about the importance of consent, so I just remind you to be really aware of personal boundaries as you're working with each other. Okay, are there any questions? Hi guys, uh, my name's Nigel, and for me, coming here is about self-love. Which is, which is really important. And um, I find I get that through being touched, essentially. Hi, I'm Mark. You guys know I'm a regular. <laughs> um, can't seem to get enough from this workshop. I, I guess I'm just looking to connect with other gay men in a more intimate space. Um, hi, I'm Omar. It's my first time coming here. I just deleted Swallow from my phone for the hundredth time. <laughs> I used to be a bit of a party boy, but after a while it all sort of gets old. I guess there are only so many guys that you can get off with. I'm here to start over again and reconnect with myself. Sorry, did I say too much? No, that's perfect. Thank you. OK, everyone, let's begin. What's wrong? 
Any, um, it's my girlfriend, she, uh, she told me, text. Cold. I guess this is what I get for letting my guard down. I thought she was the one. No, I I need to I need to talk to her, right? Seb. Give the girl some space. gonna drown his sorrows. Do it properly. Mm. Oh, a bit low. Is that okay? Mm. Yeah, that's a spot. Oh, harder. All right. <clears throat> Go on, put your back into it. Oh, is this where we get our kid off? It's getting hot in here. Well, he's about to bang his gong again, so any minute now, I guess. Mm. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Sorry, it was just too much. Clothes like these can bring up lots of emotions. Yeah, emotion. How old are you? 25, going on 65. <laughs> when I was your age, I was out on Old Compton Street looking for hot guys every night. That's exactly what I'm trying to get away from. I mean, not the hot guys, obviously. I just want to find the right person, and, you know. Don't beat yourself up. I mean, we're all here for similar reasons. Maybe we can go for a coffee sometime. Yeah, yeah, I'd like that. Are you married? Yeah, but we have an open relationship. Um, and how does your husband feel about that? We're just going for a coffee, Omar. Okay, sure, yeah. Like that's not gonna end up in the Three Musketeers sword fighting. No thanks. Wow. Could you be any more judgmental? <laughs> you know... <laughs> yeah, I know... I know... <clears throat> that... That I may come off as a self-righteous prick sometimes. But... I'm not as bad as you think. Mm -mm. I'm trying to get my shit together. I never really hated you, eh? Hmm. I just mm. thought you were a bit of a pikey. No, <laughs> 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 I've... Uh, <laughs> I've never actually... Being this intimate with another guy before. Just pretend I'm your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you, trying to strangle me. It's <laughs> <laughs> the only way I can get rid of you. <laughs> Fuck new massage. It's supposed to be so spiritual. Then I'm having to fight off a three-way. 